quickly, um, let me update you with this latest information. Um, information reaching us say that um, the wife of the governor of Anambra State, which is uh, <coughs> Mrs. Willie Willie Obiano, <coughs> is missing as at this time. Um, after the unknown gunmen had a clash uh, during their campaign in um, what do you call it uh, in Anambra State. Now they say reports um, reaching us now say that gunmen attacked the convoy of wife of Anambra State Governor Iberi Obiano on Friday afternoon. The whereabouts of governor's wife is still unknown as at the time of filing this report, but witnesses said the attack took place in Inobi. Anambra State. So that is the developing story that we are getting uh, right now. We are still um, <clears throat> trying our best to see what we can do. Um, as it stands right now, our four men committee are on the run to that very location to ascertain the um, authenticity of this very um, information. And they will do everything possible and uh, to restore normalcy. Uh, we want to assure Willie Obiano that uh, he should go about his normal businesses and uh, without fear of intimidation or contact our head office for normalcy um, in case the one that they have restored is not enough for them um, in that very area. Okay, so but we'll make sure that the woman is uh, released and the pepper sellers, no, perpetrators, sorry, but this is perpetrators. That means that pepper is being threatened. People who are threatening paper, that is paper. English, you get as it be, honestly. You understand? Uh -huh. So that is what we have on board now. And they're moving away from there. We want to reach to the north quickly and come back. Um, they say that um, <coughs> some bandit, I will I call it bandit, kill 20 security operatives in Zamfara, set their corpses on fire. They don't burn them now beyond recognition. So in here, Neben is not just in the south, it's, it's still crying in the north. Now, you people want to scatter this country. Now, that, let me tell you something you don't understand. That is to show you that it is these people's department that they redeployed to the southeast to be causing this confusion. And they are called unknown government in the north. We have bandits, uh, we have Boko Haram, we have ISIS, we have ISWAP, we have, uh, um, what do you call them, Hesmen. And all the rest of them. So they deployed their some of their members to the southeast and called them unknown government and gave them cheap equipment to be to be causing. You see how people we are running in that location today. I, I wept. I say no. This is not what we are known for. Igbo land is a peaceful place, but who has brought all this upon us? The foolish politicians who wants to loot, want to loot to hellfire. You want to loot what belongs to your brothers and sisters. Now, look at it. The banditry in the north has been extended to Alibo. Alibo has been the most peaceful place. And some cult boys are beginning to, uh, uh, um, what do you call, copy this bandit in the north. You are not seeing it properly. Let me quickly show you. Look at it. No fewer than 20 operatives of the Nigeria security agencies have been uh, reportedly butchered in Shinkafi, local government area. So this is a report daily. I told you that these people are up to date. Bandit Q20 security operatives in Zamfara said their corpses are blaze. So report daily, uh, that's why we are taking this one from, they are up to date and <laughs> uh, I've told you people to go and follow them on the social media handles, all of them. If you search for them, and even on the, under this video, I'll put uh, links to their uh, social media handles. So I beg, if you watch this video, if you watch this video, and then you, 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 you love, you love, you love freedom. Don't love us. <laughs> we know that we don't have love here. <laughs> we don't know how to talk. But if you love freedom, I beg, go follow report at report dailies to help the ministry. Nkaunkan is one of our own that uh, they have made me the ambassador. <laughs> it's not easy eh, to ambassadorize one product at least. So let this one now be. So anything you want to advertise, self, I can even advertise it for you here properly. Uh, and people will patronize you. you know, it doesn't matter. Even music, self, with the sing. Me and my singer, 
I'm a, I'm a singer, like rapper. Um, the, what we are working on now is a Kanye West uh, song, so I will feature him on that one. When it comes out, it will be bomb, the bomb. <laughs> I'm only with that. I'm not going to beg on it again. No, I'm not going to come to beg me. I'm going to do guy. You're <laughs> welcome. And seriously, um, let me play you this uh, short clip here to tell you where the problems we are having in Nigeria is all coming from. Listen to this man. It's an old video, but it's relevant. Dare to tell this nation today mm -hmm. that this is the problem. This constitution can never give us progress. Okay. This constitution can never give us peace. This constitution can never give us unity. And unfortunately, most of us in this National Assembly we don't have the spine to face what we need to give this republic to our peace and progress. What do I mean? This constitution has 68 items, 68 on the exclusive list. This constitution has only 12 on the concurrent list. And those 12 are written so nebulously, so fraudulently, that you know that the intention is to even undermine those concurrent lists. The formal name of this republic is Federal Republic of Nigeria. Unfortunately, we don't run a federalist system in Nigeria. Otherwise, what is so unique about all those things that are in the exclusive list in this chamber we try to federalize the police system in this chamber we failed every crime is local and the solution to every crime is local the idea that senators in nigeria some of the courage to say we should not continue to deceive ourselves. All right. Did you see that? But I, I want to ask one question before I proceed. Why is it that it is only APGA and uh, is it PDP that are campaigning? Where is APC, for Christ's sake, in Anambra State? I've never seen them campaigning. Which means that if you like campaign from now to tomorrow, they have known the winner. They have known the winner. Why are they not campaigning? Why are we not seeing them on, on this uh, campaign ground in Anambra State? <laughs> I be the APC in government. Now, they don't want to campaign. They don't want to do election, I be. All right. Let me quickly brief you on these uh, 20 soldiers and uh, other security forces that has been killed. No fewer than 20 operatives of the Nigeria security agencies have reportedly been butchered in Shinkafi local government area of Zamfara state. The body is set ablaze by the notorious bandit operating in that region. Delhi Post gathered that the security operatives were sent to a village where bandits have been ravaging for a very long time without any security stoppage or any security intervention. But they, they will come out to tell you that uh, bandit collecting taxes is a normal thing. Now, see, they should be now the security forces, no, na mumu pass, no, na mumu pass, and no, na go continue to they receive from this bandit. You don't, you don't have eyes. You want to go and collect 35,000. Now, see, see, see your end. See your end here in the hands of people, people we know they bath, people we know they bath. It was gathered that the bandits ambushed the security operatives, killed scores of them, and set the corpses on fire in the early hours of Friday. Among the victims was Alahaji Shehu Malami, a resident of the community. When contacted, the, pub uh, the, pub the Public Relations Office of the Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, NSCDC, Mr. Aminu Meri confirmed the incident saying that the state commandant of the corps had earlier left to the scene to ascertain what really <laughs> happened. You people are the sacrificial lambs. You think you are strong with that AK-47, 
bandit will come with hot RPG. Let me tell you something that you don't know, my brother, my brother, my sister, my auntie. This bandit will go into the fire and roast their arupijis and roast their gun boots and roast their gun trucks before <laughs> coming out for the security agencies that feels you don't even have better equipment. They will send you to go there. Mura hai, mura hai, mura hai, mura hai. Look at where your problems are coming from. You are not even paid well. Some of you are under um, what do you, debt. They are owing you. The government is owing you. But you are working for the nation. You want to restore. You want to restore peace and normalcy, which our four main committee have been um, contacted to do. It is not your job anymore. Our committee, four main committee, this is their job. And um, as I speak to you now, we have sent them to Zamfara State. No, yeah, Zamfara State. Although it is very dangerous, but they have been sent to Zamfara State in this uh, Shinkafi local government area to go and restore normalcy there. So, since the uh, police public relations officer or the NSCDC could not speak, um, we want to assure you that um, normalcy has been returned since it happened since morning and um, everything is under um, control. The situation is under control. Uh, we want to make sure that everybody goes about their businesses and the security operatives continue to patrol that area without fear of any, uh, <clears throat> what do you call it? intimidation or harassment from this notorious bandit this is um as he stands right now so continue to do your job judiciously to hold the nation to be one okay why the bandits continue to do what they are sent to do by the same government owing you salaries <laughs> Onyami, we're done civil defense you want to join them and you want to wear uniform we're done in a failed state this is where they bond them beyond recognition like burnt offering not even like goat at least goat you will have respect they will put one goat on one stick and then they roast it at least we know it is that goat that we killed now they packed these people's bodies together and then they set it ablaze Pour fear use their motors and set them ablaze and alagali we don't even know who is who anymore now it is when they come they just dig ground and bury them if they tell you the atrocities that has been committed with the blood of our people in the north you will not believe who are these people killed are they full any are they full any people the answer is no it is our mumu people yeah um uh, uh, man uh, yoruba man a uh, uh, man uh, niger delta south south you people you rush you enter me go and see your end in the north is that you want to save Nigeria, Mumu man? God will disgrace all of you. Let me know what you think about it. It is not, um, but the only thing I can do is to help in restoring normalcy. So we have assured them, um, that is what we can only offer as at the moment. Any other update, we come to you later as we proceed to give you what you need. Thank you. Don't forget to follow report dailies before I change my mind. <laughs> you know, say, <laughs> okay, thank you.